Hello everyone, happy Wednesday. I hope everyone is having a great day. Today I'm going to be working on a kitchen backsplash. This is going to be the last part of the series of videos for the one bedroom unit that I did just recently. This is the before look of the kitchen. The backsplash is just painted in white. Kaya we are going to cover this with subway tiles to upgrade the look and to make it more classy. For the tools and materials, we are going to use the following. Steel trowels, plastic mixing container, 2-in-1 tile grout and adhesive, 2mm tile spacer, sandpaper and plastic masking film, masking and fiberglass mesh tape, 3x5 inch beveled subway tiles in white, tile edge trim, and angle grinder. Before we start the installation, we have to do the proper markings kung hanggang saan lang i-cover natin ng subway tiles. Gumamit ako dito ng level bar para maging accurate yung lines since this would affect the outcome once tiles are installed. I then put masking tape outside of the area of coverage. To protect the existing countertop and cupboards, we covered it with plastic masking film since halos ito na rin ang gagawin nating working platform. Next step is to sand the wall para mas kumapit yung adhesive. Then I tape the whole backsplash area with fiberglass mesh tape for that additional adhesive reinforcement. Usually, mas ginagamit ito for backer boards that are made of drywall. This next procedure is very important. Natutunan ko to while watching tile installers. Since most of the ceramic or porcelain tiles have pores, kaya para siyang sponge pag sumipsip ng water. Take a look at it pag binabad siya. If we're gonna install it without soaking, matutuyo ka agad yung adhesive and we'll leave no room for adjustments. For the adhesive, since we're gonna be using a relatively small tile, kaya I prefer using this 2-in-1 grout and adhesive for mosaic tiles. Before the installation, I initially measured and checked the dimensions kung saan aabot yung tile na hindi magiging awkward yung cuts. By the way, we are going to do a half bond brick type na installation na pattern for this backsplash. I started applying adhesive using the notch trowel or yung may bungi bungi, pero I went on using the pointed trowel as I find it easier and comfortable for me. I started installing two tiles away from the corner kasi hindi na level yung wall. Pag yun ang sinunod ko, tuloy-tuloy na wala sa hulog ang installation natin. Yung tile na napili natin, medyo naka-concave yung likod na part. Kaya I have to fill it with adhesive aside from what's being applied on the wall para hindi mag-create ng halo that will result na mabilis siyang matanggal. Pag sa floor tiles, tinatawag siyang parang kapak. I also have to check the tiles once in a while with leveling rod to make sure na pantay pagkaka-install natin. If you notice, mas naging comfortable akong gamitin yung pointed trowel compared to the notch trowel kasi since hindi naman tayo professional installer talaga, mabagal tayo mag-install kaya 
natutuyo ka agad yung adhesive. So, I prefer using this pointed one. So, kung ano ang mas comfortable sa inyo, yun yung gamitin nyo as long as tama pa rin yung end result natin. For the tail spacer, you have to cut yung isang part to make it three wing lang because of the pattern that we chose na alternating para mag-fit siya. So aside sa pagbabad natin ng tiles, make sure that before installation pa sa inyong part na paglalagay ng tiles, this is still in connection with why we need to soak the tiles prior to installation. So another reason why we soak the tiles and parati natin pinapasa is to make sure that the pores of the tiles are fully, absor fully absorbed water so as not to cause hollowing shedding or even cracks. So, Halloween yun yung kapak kasi pag halimbawa hindi na flowy yung mixture natin so hindi na siya masyadong mag-form doon sa likod so magkakaroon siya ng void or hollow. So we do the whole procedure of covering the whole backsplash area na minarkahan natin until halos magpuno natin siya leaving the edges kasi doon magpuputol na tayo. Our next step is to put tile edge trim para properly ma-terminate natin yung tile part sa painted na part. Many overlook this part pero this is as important actually as this will soften the transition where your tile ends and this will make the installation look more high-end and professional. Simple lang din naman to install yung gagamitin din nating adhesive is yung adhesive din sa tiles and ipit din natin siya ng tiles para maging malinis din yung pinagputulan niya Using angle grinder I then cut the tile for all the parts na hindi nabuo ang mailalagay I prefer this over typical tile cutter as I find it easier and flexible. If you notice, originally hindi natin sinama sa taped area yung sa part na pag install ng range hood. Pero since I find it awkward na iwan siya and we still have a lot of excess tiles kasi wala naman tayo masyadong nabasag kaya I decided to cover it na din. Using the same tile adhesive, we then proceed grouting and yung pinutol kong chinelas na applicator, natutunan ko din ito sa mga tile installers since wala akong mabiling applicator sa mga hardwares. We then apply grouts in between tiles or joints and the edges. To make it more effective, force the grout into the joints and make sure na walang malalagpasan na portion. For the final step, I waited until the grout has set or maybe around 1 to 3 hours. Then, clean any remaining excess grouts or haze with a clean damp sponge. I hope you guys enjoyed this simple tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, 
make sure to drop me a line in the comment section below. By the way, I'm pushing to regularly upload videos every two weeks, so I'll see you after two weeks. Maraming maraming salamat po sa panonood.